गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल अगेन एंड हवर यू आई थिंक यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड दिस क्वारंटाइन डेज नो वर्क नो स्कूल नो एक्स्ट्रा लोड्स नो ट्यूशन नथिंग इज देयर सो फॉर दैट हेयर आई एम फॉर प्रेजेंटिंग समथिंग रिगार्डिंग द रिलेशन फंक्शन चैप्टर एंड इन माई चैनल दोज आर नॉट uh subscribing my channel to please subscribe and uh, push the bell icon as well so that uh, when i upload some videos regarding different chapters the notification uh will be actually will be received by you and uh, in our last two videos uh, regarding the solution function chapter i had covered two three questions or four questions i think so this is the lecture number 3 on this chapter so here in this uh, video i have chosen a basic question which is very important for the post standard exams it is not so important for the entrance studies okay. so it is the post standard questions and basically this type of question used to come in your 12th board exam okay and the last 3 uh, 4 questions are also so important uh, for the post standards the first questions uh i think the m n s b divisible by a uh, mod of m n s b is divisible by n and this uh, lines parallel and this is the actually uh, ncert questions also so this two questions are very important and uh, this question is very very important for the board standards so i think you all should uh, practice this type of questions purportedly and uh, and very religiously also so you have to solve all the questions with proper attention and uh, whenever you will sit to practice uh, the mathematics question different types of questions as well then you have to uh, you have to be very much attentive mm. when you are you are uh, solving the questions mathematics so that means all the others just keep aside all the other words keep aside and just uh, uh, just keep your mind just uh, calm like kumbh and then uh, start uh, solving questions and uh, if you actually in mathematics at least in in plus 12 2 to 2 and 1/2 hours should be allotted for this subject you have to solve the questions you have to revise the previous chapters which are uh, is completed uh, and uh, some time and some hours should be allotted for the new uh, chapters which is going on okay so here i have chosen a question which is very very important for board and that is if a relation on a two sets are there a set and b set two sets are there okay. and it is given by r equals to order pair a comma b such that a belongs to a b belongs to b a less equals to b bracket close check whether it is equivalence or not you have to prove whether it is equivalence or not the relation is given or the order pair a comma b belongs to order pair a comma b belongs to r there is a relation between a and b okay. here the small a should be chosen from the set a capital a set which is given in the question that you can see 1 2 3 4 5 is your first set and the second set is what b 3 4 5 7 8 okay so these two sets are given and uh, the condition what is the condition that means uh, when the relation between uh, this a and b will be constructed the relation between a and b will be constructed when ls equals to b conditions will be there will be satisfied by uh, the choosing values whatever is chosen for the uh, for a and b as well okay and <coughs> you have to prove whether it is equivalence or not okay so let's start for getting this equivalence property at first we have to check whether it is reflexive symmetric or transitive or not so our first concept is what reflexive property now let's start the reflexive property i think all of you have uh, written the question sir okay so just if you if you uh, if you are not writing the question just pause the video and just uh, you can see the question first and after that you should start the solution here <coughs> here <coughs> at first you have to write the relation set which is given in the question given relation equals to order pair a comma b such that a belongs to a 
B belongs to capital B and A less equals to B. Where, where A equals to A equals to one, two, three, four, five, and B equals to uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So these two sets are given. Just you can uh, write these two sets because uh, I have erased the questions here. So I didn't see the question uh, what uh, which uh, elements uh, belongs to the given sets. So just here you can write uh, a new sets here. So I think something is changed here. Okay, so yeah, the same thing will be happen. Thus, whatever the sets are given, you have to do the so you have to solve the questions uh, uh, just like the like the same way. Okay, so here here reflexive property, reflexive, reflexive. Okay, at first, whenever the sets will be given. The general questions is not, uh, this is not the general question, here the sets are given, at first you have to uh, construct the relation set first. Here, this is the set builder form of the relation set, you have to uh, rewrite the same relation set in the tabular form. The tabular form is what? R equals to, okay, here you can see, two sets are given, A and B, 1, 2, 3, Four, five. Here, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. The two sets are given. Now, <coughs> the relation will be constructed in such a way that the values of A, okay, should be less than or equal to B. Okay. So that means the values of A will be chosen, uh, will be chosen in such a manner that uh, the value of B will be greater or equal to A. So here, as you know, all the values of all the elements of the first set can be chosen as small a, and all the values of second set can be chosen as small b. These are the values of small a, and these are the values of small b. Just you need to consider this thing: all the values of the first set have to be considered as a, and all the values of the second set have to be considered as b as well. So now, if you choose a equals to 1 here, okay, a equals to 1. Now, with this one, the relation will be constructed with the second set elements where the less than, sorry, greater than or equal to value is there, okay. So here, you can see all the values of the second set, all the values of the second set is what? Greater than 1. So, so greater than 1, that means all the values of B greater than A here. So you can construct the relation 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 6. Okay? And you can see. So that means after constructing this mapping or relation, some order pair, order pair will be discovered. And the order pairs are what? 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1 comma 6, 1 comma 7. Okay. Then after that, if you choose a equals to 2 here, a equals to 2. So with this 2, I think 2, 3, 3 is greater than 2 here. So 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7. That means with this 2, all of the elements of the second set have a mapping. So here 2, 3, 2, 4. 2, 5, 2, 6, and 2, 7. Similarly, <coughs> with this 3, 3, 3, eh? 3 can construct a mapping with the 3 only because uh, the, between the values of A and B may be equal also. According to the question, the equal sign is given here. Okay, So A equals to B may be there. So if you choose A equals to 3, then the value of B can be chosen as 3 also. So, 3, 3, 
three four three five three six three six. So three 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 four three five three six three six. Okay. So proceeding this way. Four with this four. Four cannot be actually uh, actually cannot be constructed any method with the three of the second set because three is smaller than four. That means we cannot construct a relation or method between four and three because here you can see the values of a is becoming greater than the value of b here. So we cannot choose the greater value uh, in place of a because the value of a should be smaller than b. Here you can see the value of a is greater than the value of b. That means we cannot construct the mapping here. But four comma four can be constructed. Four comma five, four comma six, and four comma seven. That is four comma five, four comma six, four comma four comma four is also there. Four comma four is also there because uh, it can be equal also. So four comma four, the value of a and b. May be same also. So four comma four, four comma five, four comma six, four comma seven. Okay. Then after that, five, five three cannot be constructed. Five four, there is no mapping because four is smaller than five. So how can you construct the mapping between this five and four? So and actually, the second set values should be greater than the first set values. Okay. So here five four. Not possible. Five, five. Yes, it is possible. Five, 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 six, and five, seven. So here it is. So I think uh, all the elements of the first set is covered now. So here, nothing is left uh, for constructing the new relations or new mapping in this question. So first set is covered. So now, the whole the collection of all the order pairs. Completed. Okay. Now, after getting the collection of all the order pairs, now you have to see the order pairs very much carefully, and uh, you have to check whether it is reflexive and when it is reflexive. As I told you, so if for getting the reflexive property, some order pair, some particular type of order pair, should belong to the given relation set. Okay. So here you can see the order reflexive property. What type of order pairs? One comma one. That means order pair A comma A belongs to R. That means where the value of A and B will be same. That relation is called reflexive relation. So here we can see one comma one. Uh, sorry, three comma three. Three comma three is there. Then four comma four is also there. Five comma five is also there. So where the value of A and B, that means doublet type order pair, will belong to the relation set. Okay. So for getting uh, the concept of reflexive property of a relation set, also. here you can see the order pairs three comma three, four comma four, and five comma five are present here. So that's why we can say this given relation, this not given equally, this required relation uh, is reflexive relation as well. So here we have to. Write the statement, the conclusion line. <coughs> so here, here, three comma three, four comma four, five comma five belongs to R. That is, R is what? Reflexive. R is reflexive. R is reflexive. Okay. Now, for the symmetric property, and remember one thing: for the symmetric property, whenever you will see in the given relation set, okay, some condition will be given. So in that condition, okay, if any anything less than or greater than sign will be given, less than or greater than sign will be given, then this type of relations cannot be symmetric, because if one less than two, one. One less than two, as you all know. But if you interchange their positions, two 
just in place of one, if two will come, and in place of one, uh, sorry, two, one will come. Then, but the sign, sign will remain same. Sign cannot be changed. Is it possible? Two less than one. How is it possible two less than one? It is not possible, I think. So that's why this type of less than or greater than uh, functions or greater than relations or bondings cannot be symmetric. So here A less equals to B is given. So B less equals to if A, the value of A is less equals to B, then how could you, uh, how could you get uh, the B less than A values? You could not get that kind of values of A which is greater than A because the order of here are constructed in such a way that where all the values of A is less than or equals to B. So the here the values of A cannot be greater than B. So this type of functions cannot be symmetric. So concisely just you should remember the same is you should remember this thing that uh, when in a relation set A less than B, B less than A, this less than greater than sign will be given then this type of relations will not be a symmetric relation. Just write the direct statement. Okay. So, <clears throat> here R is not symmetric. R is not symmetric. Just write the reason here. Since less than or greater than greater than relation cannot be cannot be what cannot be symmetric less than or greater than function kabhi bhi symmetric nahi ho sakta hai kyunki usko hum log reverse bhi kar le जो कंडीशन है वो सेटिस्फाई नहीं करता है ठीक है तो ये सिमेट्रिक नहीं होगा ये कंफर्म है इट इज नॉट सिमेट्रिक ओके सो एज यू ऑल नो दैट इफ यू वांट टू प्रूव द इक्विवेलेंस रिलेशन देन एक्चुअली इफ ए रिलेशन इफ ए रिलेशन सेट विल बी इक्विवेलेंस देन दिस रिलेशन सेट शुड सेटिस्फाई ऑल द थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज I mean to say, reflexive symmetry and the transitive property, all of the three properties should be satisfied by the given relation set or the actually the required relation set. Here you can see that the relation set which is discovered here, okay, which is solved here, it is satisfying the reflexive property. Very good. I have no problem. But it is not satisfying the symmetric property. So at least one is not satisfied by the by. The, uh, by this relation set. That's why this relation set is not equivalent. Just you can approach to the direct statement here. Huh? You can get the direct statement. So no need to solve the transitive property here. Okay. So it, it, I think it will save your time also when you will get uh, the not symmetric property here. So that means this uh, relation is not equivalent as well. So <coughs> here here here, so R is not equivalence relation. Okay, equivalence relation. Am I right? So I think everybody uh, have understood whatever is discussed here. And uh, regarding the reflexive symmetric and transitive property, and as you all know, in the reflex in this uh, relation and function chapter, many more concepts uh, are there in the relation part. Okay. So this type of questions need to be solved for the portion that questions, and some questions will be provided uh, in written, okay, in the PDF format. You can and the link will be given. Just you can see the link, okay. And uh, I think uh, today I will upload uh, some. Hmm, uh, PDF, uh, PDF of some homeworks and this type of questions. Okay. And in uh, NCRT book, in Adi Sharma, you will get uh, this kind of questions also. So if you have any doubt regarding any questions of uh, that books, you can ask me questions in the comment section. I will discuss 
obviously okay and for your conveniences whatever you need i am ready to provide you that the that kind of conveniences whatever i actually whatever i know so i will give my best for for providing you the many solutions of different different questions so for me it is uh, pretty much privilege for me and just uh, and most importantly i am i just i want to extend my gratitude to all the subscribers those who have subscribed my channel as well and uh, those who have uh, seen uh, the lectures different different lectures so thank you very much to all and those who are not subscribing my channel still now please subscribe my channel and uh, push the bell icon as well and uh, thank you very much uh, stay safe and don't be infected by uh, this kind of deadly uh, virus okay so thank you very much goodbye